is a canvas and paint in my mind. Colors dance, spill outside the lines. I refuse to settle, never the black and white. All right, so we are going to make a an altered glass bottle tonight um, for breast cancer awareness. And what I have here, this is a, um, an avocado oil bottle. We use avocado oil to cook with, and um, so it has this nice shaped bottle, and I thought this would be perfect to make a uh, breast cancer awareness bottle. So we are going to use some of the products from the store. First, we have the Gypsy Cord in the Florica. And it's um, got the pink in it, which is why I chose it. Okay. Thank you, Rhonda. So Rhonda will put up the links as I'm going. So this is the Florica Gypsy Cord, Rhonda. Then I'm going to be using the Rose Velvet and Crochet Ribbon. The Glue and Seal Ranger Glue. And the Pink Sunrise in the Glass Glitter. Now I just got my bag rather than taking one of the little bottles. I just got my refill bag. So I'm going to set that over to the side here. So the first thing I did was I put painter's tape, and you can use whatever width you want, and I made it all the way around. And the, the really nice thing about the glue and seal is it comes with a brush inside. So that works out really handy. So I'm going to brush on the glue. I'm gonna put it all the way around. Just making sure that I have every um, part of this bottom bottle covered, bottom of the bottle. And just going over it to make sure. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to set that aside. And I've got a little container and a spoon. And I'm just going to take my glitter. Now, if you had a bottle, you would just shake it from the bottle, but since I'm using the bag, I've got a spoon, and I'm just going to spoon it over like this. And tap it off. Now, normally I would put this back, say, put it back in the jar and reuse, but I'm just going to keep going from the bottle, or I mean from the bag, because I can always um, put it in after, because I have a lot more than the bottle would hold. And I'm just going to go over double over again these areas just to make sure that I've got good coverage. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's what we have so far. It's, isn't that easy? And I can see a little at the bottom here where it needs a little more coverage. So I'm just going to scoop some up. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for a second and pour this back in my bag. Now I'm going to repeat the process on this upper part here. So I've got this strip that I can hang on to where it's blue, you know, from the, the painter's tape. So just putting a good coat on. Actually, I think what I might do is hold it from the inside like this. That's going to work good. And I can go right over the tape because the tape's going to come off later. Now I am just going up right below where the threads start on this.
So as I was saying, when you guys couldn't hear me, is anyone that knows me knows I um, have a, I, I usually do something for breast cancer awareness every year. Um, we donate to it. It does run in my family. So it is an important thing for me and that's why I'm doing it because it is the month that we um, sp pay special attention to it. All right, so I'm just gonna repeat and put the glitter over this part. And this you kind of have to tip it a little bit because you got that bend. This glass glitter is the Pink Sunrise and it is one of my favorites. I love this color. It's kind of um, got gold. It's got golden tones to it, so it's like a peachy pink almost, but you know, more peach or more pink than peach. Okay, so I've got good coverage on that. I'm just going to set that aside now. Put this back in my bag again, and I am done with that, so I can set it. Well, actually, I see one little spot here that I missed, so I'm going to go back and do that real quick before it dries. There we go. Much better. Okay. Okay, now I am not the neatest crafter. And if you were using um, a bigger tray, which I should have probably done for the size of the bottle, but I didn't, you wouldn't get all this mess all over, like I did here. Okay, so I've got that on there, and I would recommend that you wait for it to dry, but because we're on a video, I am not gonna do that. So hopefully this will work. I'm just going to find my end of my tape, and I'm just going to peel that away. Okay, and you can see I have a nice clean line there. And that is where I'm going to take my um, cord and start wrapping. So let me get that open. There we go. Now I chose the Florica because it has the pinks and the whites and the uh, beiges. Now it does have blue in it as well and I'm not going to be using that so I'll have to take that strand out. But basically what this cord is is you get five yards of so you get a yard of sorry five yards of five different colors. So each strand is five yards long if I'm not mistaken. So let me find the end here first. So for the five colors, I'll show you, we have the white, which is almost more like a paper rope, and then you have the pink, and then you have the blue, which is a rougher, twine, uh, like a thicker twine. This is more of a um, soft twine. And then you have two just, um, I guess, kind of yarn cords, I would say, in a beige and a lighter pink. So I'm going to take the blue out because I'm not going to need that. I'm going to unwind that a little bit and I'm not sure how much I'm going to need so I'm going to do this a little at a time. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to set this aside for just a second and I'm going to try and get some of this glitter off of my, well, I'll just turn it upside down, there we go. This particular mat, I love these mats, they're the Ken Oliver ones but I mean it sticks. I mean, everything just sticks and you, you really have to run it under water to get it clean. So I'm just going to turn it over and leave it at that. And I should have had this plugged in earlier, but I didn't. So now one of the things that we're going to do is make a uh, breast cancer ribbon and it's really the, it's, it's so easy to do. You just take it and loop it, make a loop and cross it. That's how easy it is to make one. Okay, now I'm thinking that's going to be a little big, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. That's probably about right, right there. Now 
and I'm going to cut it off. So let's see, that's probably only about six inches that I'm using there. Okay, so again, we just make the loop and cross it, and that's all there is to a breast cancer awareness ribbon. And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue. Oh, it's not hot yet. Now, one of the things you could do inside this bottle, and look at it, isn't that, isn't that pretty? Isn't the sparkle just gorgeous? You could put lights down in it if you wanted to. You wouldn't even have to cover this part. You could just put the ribbon on and leave it like that, and it would be absolutely gorgeous. You could put a candle in the top here. I mean, there's numbers of things you could do with it. And I'm moving it around a lot, so I'm losing some of the glitter because it's not dry. And I will touch it up if that happens. Okay, so the glue is hot enough now. So all I did was put a dab of glue in there. And there I have my breast cancer awareness ribbon. Okay. So, um, so I've given you a couple options of what you can do. Now what I'm going to do is take this, take this cord and I'm going to spread it out so that all four cords are even and flat like so. Okay. And I'm going to Put a little dab of glue on here. And put my cords on. That's where I'm going to start. Okay, and I'm going to squish them together. Okay, so they're all flattened in a row now. And now I'm just going to wrap. And I'm going to do it standing up, guys, because I know it's harder for you to see, but um, if I don't, I'm going to ruin the glitter part. So I'm just going to go around in a circle and every once in a while I'm going to hit a little dab of glue to keep them secure. Okay, and now once you get to the back then you start kind of weaving upwards. back, front, whichever you want to call it. I'll probably use that as a front because I'm going to put the ribbon on and I can cover up that little line. So now the trick to this is keeping it flat and in a row. Okay, put a little more glue on. And you can um, leave as much space as you want or get it as tight as you want. I'm trying to get it fairly tight. But uh, not really super squished either. So I don't know if that makes sense. I'll show you when I'm all done. Okay, and I really messed up the glitter right there. So the best way to do this is to definitely to make sure that your, glue, your glitter is dry. But... We all know that when we do classes, that doesn't always happen, so we have to touch up later. It's just the way it is. Okay, i got to make these straight again. I hardly used any. I don't know how much it was, but I mean, not even, not even probably a, a third of it. It was somewhere between a third and a quarter would be my guess. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure my ends are tucked down. Now you can see here where I messed up, and I'll go back and touch that up later after we're off the air. And now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to lay this down. And I'm going to put this right over the top like that. Just put a little glue in the center there. And 
stick it on there. Um, really about 45 minutes before you really should handle it. Maybe, and then I would let it dry 45, or I mean overnight for sure. Now the good thing about the glue and seal is it is waterproof, so you know this could get wet without hurting it. Um, I wouldn't soak it probably, but it, you could. Okay, so I've got that on there, and now I'm going to take, I just have these stickers, and I bought these a couple years ago, and I use like one or two every year, and I'm just going to put that right in the center of that. Okay, so now we have a breast cancer awareness altered bottle. Very simple project. Like I said, I will probably put lights down in here, and I do have the cap. And you could, you could cover the cap with either the glitter or the cord as well. And then, you know, drill a hole in it and run your lights through it that way. Anyway, so there's lots of things you could do with this. but um, Or a candle if you just wanted to put it on your table, like I said. I will probably put lights in mine. The reason why is because sparkling through this glitter, it is going to be amazingly beautiful. So wasn't that a simple project? Very easy and very pretty, and all set for breast cancer awareness. All right, so we have that one done, and I, just, I had told myself that if we got done quickly, which we did because this is such an easy project, um, that I would show you what else I'm working on. And let me get this out of the way. So I don't know if you've seen this on Pinterest. I, that's where I saw it and decided to give it a try. So I bought this great big pumpkin. It's a fake pumpkin, um, but it's carvable. And I got it at Michael's and it was 50% off because it's time for Halloween. Excuse me, I'm gonna move this bottle real quick so I don't bump it. And then um, I painted it blue. So um, the reason I did that is because, okay, I will, Rhonda, give me just a second. So I painted it blue, and then I cut out a mouth. Can you guess what I'm doing with it? Anybody? Has anybody seen this on Pinterest before? Now, I still need to paint the inside. Um, I just got it carved right before uh, we started on the show, and so it's not finished, not anywhere close to finish. But let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Nobody can guess what I'm doing? Okay, so I sell in the store styrofoam balls. And I took one and cut it in half. Although the ones I saw on Pinterest actually have whole ones, but I thought this would work just perfect. And there you have it. And then I'm going to have cookies spilling out of his mouth. And I have a cookie monster pumpkin. Isn't that cute? Simple. I just took one of those balls, cut it in half. I sanded the backs. As you can see here, I'll, I'll try and lift that up closer. I sanded the back really good so it would be flat. Then I took black paint and painted a circle right in the center. And voila, my cookie monster. Once I paint inside, I'll paint the inside black. So it'll look just like, uh, it'll look just like the cookie monster images that you see on the web. And then I'll just put cookies inside and kind of let them spill out of the mouth onto a tray. And I thought that was cute. Now, one of the things I will do, I'm not gonna do it here tonight, but I'm going to actually, um, now a lot of them had the, when I saw it, had the eyes up here. And I just thought that was, I don't know, I liked it better down here. So we'll see, I gotta play around with it. But if I don't do that, then I'll probably put some blue glitter on the top here to cover that up, make it look like part of his head too. Rob loves it. <laughs> Is he a Cookie Monster fan? <laughs> Anyway, I just thought it'd be cute, and I'm going to buy the individual packages of cookies, and those will be what I give out for Halloween this year. And this will be my bucket. Kind of fun. 
All right, so that is what I'm working on besides the bottle. Now, let me bring the bottle back. Whoops, uh, I bumped something off on it when I was moving it around. Oh, there it is. Okay, that is the breast cancer awareness bottle. I have some touch up to do because I was messing with it while it was wet. But there's the cord, the pink and white and cream cord. And then there is the breast cancer ribbon. Now, as I was saying, <laughs> okay, good. You never know because Paul loves Tinkerbell. So, hey, he could be a Cookie Monster fan. Anyway, so as I was saying, I'm probably going to put lights inside there because I can just see this lit up. And I may, after it dries, I may go ahead and put glitter on this upper part too, but I needed some place to be able to hang on to while I work. So, a very quick, easy class tonight. Thank you. Hi, Teresa. Glad you made it. Very quick, easy class tonight. Again, this is the Pink Sunrise. Um, there are several colors of pink, so, you know, it's just whatever you like best. Um, this just happens to be my favorite of the pinks. So, and I want to thank you guys for joining us this evening. And that's it for me. Just a quick 30 minute class. All right. I will see you all. Um, I'll take pictures and get this video up, but there really is nothing to it as you saw. Um, but it'll be out there for anybody that missed the beginning. All right. Thanks for joining me tonight. Good night, everyone. Till the day I die, I'm on a constant search to make my heart swell. Bite off too much, shoot like hell. Have my night spent in a hotel. Price I pay to escape the conveyor belt. One, you get one heartbeat song. Take it seriously.